Okay, okay, it's your boy Mega. We back here with another one. Y'all know what it is. Boss of YouTube, new voice of the street. Let's get it. So word is the paperwork has been released. Talking about Keen Vaughn was the actual shooter with the KI situation, right? And at the end of the day, it's it's not surprising to know that King Von was involved some way, somehow, right? Allegedly, or whatever you want to call it. So that's why I'm not surprised with it. And everybody's asking me that I see it, or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's why. And I, I really didn't want to talk about it because it's like some things I just don't want to touch on. It's just like, okay, well, it's old news or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows what the situation was. So then I say, you know what? Let me talk about it. But let me talk about it and, 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 and bring up something a little different from what everybody's saying, right? So everybody's touching about, oh, Kim Vaughn did it, oh, you see this, you know, Big A didn't do it, this, that, and third. Everybody's touching on who did what and who didn't do what, right? So I just wanted to touch on the fact that K.I. was a chick that grew up without a dad. She grew up in a hood without a dad. She was pretty much like, I'm going to keep it all the way 100, no disrespect, right? She was pretty much like a little thought, you know what I'm saying? She was out there doing her thing, and she was she was dating guys at the beginning type shit, you know what I'm saying? So she was out there on some, she got her heart broke a few times, and she was young, bro. She was a young chick. She got with her gang, they showed her love, and she went full throttle, right? She was the real one, she was loyal. And she got down for her gang. She did what she had to do. Yeah, a lot of people say she's overrated, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, she did a lot more and kept it a lot more gully than a lot of these dudes nowadays. So I don't even want to hear it. Because at the end of the day, I think she was a real one. So with that being said, I just wanted to say that the po let, let's, let's look at the positive things about her, right? Because a lot of people talk, but they don't say the positive things about these people. She she wanted to be a social worker. You know what I mean? Her goal was to be a social worker and be able to help out kids that went through the same thing she went through. Be able to give back to troubled teens and, and you know, stuff like that. So she had a heart. She had a heart. She wanted to give back. She wanted to help. When Lil Taekwon died, that's when she lost it. Not to mention that she was already going through enough with feeling fatherless, feeling like she was passed around and, you know, dudes were smashing and, and, and kept them moving and, and broke her heart. Dealing with all that stuff that comes with a young girl her age being in the hood, I could only imagine, bro. Because being a guy is hard. Being young and being a teenager coming up in the hood is hard already. So imagine a girl who's 13, 14 and has nowhere to turn to. The main thing is that she didn't have a dad. You think if K.I. would have had a dad in her life, showing her love, showing her affection, showing her how a girl should be treated, she would have turned out to be the way she was, to be in the streets, looking for some type of attention, some type of love, some type of family to be able to take her in? Nah, because she had a lot of love to give. She showed it by how true, how loyal, and how real she was to her friends and her gang members, right? You could read and see her tweets, man, and see how much pain was behind those words. And a lot of people say that, you know, social media is crazy, but a lot of way, in a lot of ways, social media is a way of being able to cope with the things that are going on in some of these youth's mind and shit. Social media is a way to express yourself nowadays in a lot of ways for these teenagers because they don't know how to open up and talk to people, you know? And definitely, man, she... I can definitely say that... I can definitely say that if you got a girl... Don't mistreat your baby moms around your daughter. Don't mistreat any female, period. Especially her mom or any female around her. 
You want your daughter to look for somebody who's going to be like you. And that's a fact. Your daughter's going to pretty much look for somebody who's going to remind her of her dad. So if you ain't shit, your daughter's going to look for somebody who ain't shit. So whatever it is that you want your daughter to date, be that person in her eyes. So when it ain't shit comes around, she knows how to be like, hell no, keep it moving. Why? Because she knows what she's looking for. She saw a man in her house. She saw a man in her life who taught her and showed her what a man would really like. So if she's seen your dad running out, selling drugs, gang banging, smoking weed, and doing nothing with his life, that's the same type of man she's going to look for. And that's facts. If she see a man that get up every morning and go to work, a man that kiss his girl on the way in and out the house, kiss her goodbye, kiss her on the way in, tells her I love you, kisses her goodnight, shows her that type of love, she's not going to need much. And she's not going to settle for less because she knows. She's going to set her standards high from the jump. And that's just why I'm at with Ki, man. Because I look at her and I, and I think like, damn, you know, she wanted to be a social worker. She could have been something great. She had a lot to give. If she didn't fall into our lifestyle and lost her life so early, she could have been somebody, you know, giving back and showing a whole lot to the, to the kids that were going through the same things she went through. But unfortunately, you know, we lost her. And at the end of the day, it's RIP to King Vaughn, RIP to Ki, RIP to all the fallen guys, man. Even Big A, because at the end of the day, they were all young, man, just out there doing something that they thought they had to do to survive. Because at that time, it was survival mode. They were going back and forth. But that's what just something quick I wanted to, you know, touch on the whole KI thing. I'm thinking about maybe doing a little documentary on the KI. Let me know if y'all want me to do one or whatever. Based on the reaction I get, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Bossy YouTube, new voice of the streets. Your boy, man, y'all know what it is. It's kidding.